that water? Oh no. Oh no. There may be some something we can crack in. Some, I see water on the floor here. Oh, a lot of it. Yeah. Hey guys, Rich and Kathy here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about our winterizing of our camper. We, you know, as you know, the, the camper's up in the mountains, up in the Adirondacks. Uh, we were up there Columbus Day, and the weather was beautiful, and it was sunny. We were t-shirts, and we were outside working and doing stuff. And then we came back on Veterans Day. We got there midnight on the Friday, Veterans Day weekend, and it was like 16 degrees outside. It was really cold, and uh, we looked at the the uh, sink inside the camper, and there was a little frozen drop of water hanging from it. So we were like, "Oh no!" So the first thing we did was uh, we we took a uh, we went to bed. <laughs> okay, we went to sleep <laughs> because it was late. We woke up. It was really frosty in the morning. Again, it was like something like you know, 16 or 8. I think or it was 19. 16 or 17 By the time degrees. We got out of bed. It was yeah, beautiful though. It was, Absolutely beautiful. It was nice. Uh, a little bit of snow on the ground. A little frost everywhere. The first thing I tried to do was light the uh, the uh, hot water heater. So this is from the hot water heater. You could see it dripping. So you can't light it's it. It's terrible. No, we probably should light it and try to frost it. We're gonna pull the plug and uh, light it, let it drain. Uh, to, to frost that, I knew I'd light that with the propane and at least melt that. So I was able to get that done. Uh, then we drained it. And then we tried to move on to looking at the pipes in the tank. There was water in the tank, in the, in the, tank. In the fresh water tank, which was also partially frozen. So I'm not sure if you could see or not, but the water tank still has water in it and it is somewhat frozen. I can't tell if it's frozen solid, but it looks like nothing is cracked. I tried to drain that and I was unsuccessful with that. But we were thinking about moving the trailer anyway. Yeah, we wanted to cut that tree down that's by the camper. We don't know how rotted this tree is. And as you can see, there's the camper. Here's the tree. But once we realized how frozen it was. Right. We had to move it. Let's scope out a spot where we might want to crack this camper. We got our new spot for the trailer and the clearing where we're going to build our house. And it's at least 10 degrees warmer up here for sure. As soon as we moved it up to the clearing, it started defrosting immediately. Water was dripping down the sides of the trailer, down the top of the trailer. And already starting to melt. I don't know if you could see it, but it's literally dripping down the side of the camper. Everything's melting already which is what we really needed to do. So this was a good decision. We had a little bit of a disaster pulling it up the hill and yeah, it's 50 degrees in here right now. It did get warmer outside too, 41 out, 50 in. So 41 compared to what it was this morning, which was I think uh, 19 or 20, huge difference. And the sun is doing its job. Look at that water drip down. It's literally pouring off. This was a good move. Yep. So we set up a electric heater inside under the bed to try to defrost the uh, fresh water tank. And we left that for like an hour or so. The water is moving. It's hard to see, but it is moving. And then you went to drain it and- it Didn't work. Why though? The whole drain valve area was frozen from the outside. No matter how much we heat it up the inside, the outside is not going to defrost. What do you got? It's probably not draining because that little hose is frozen solid. Little so hose. The hose might be froze? Yeah. Froze hose? <laughs> froze hose, most definitely. All right, so what can we do? 
can't light a fire under it. No. So then I took the little electric heater and we ran it with the generator and I let it sit on the So then I tried to blow out the lines, but I realized that the lines are still frozen. There's like there was probably like a like a slushy, slurpy type of frozen water inside still. So nothing could flow. I still couldn't get it. So after we realized that we couldn't blow out the lines, we then took the little electric heater and we cleaned out the bottoms of all the cabinets where all the lines go and everything else and we blew the, we just let the heater blow in there and we also turned on the heat inside the trailer uh, as for, high as we could basically put it yeah as high as it would go it and, was hot um, <laughs> we let it sit like that for like an hour or a couple hours and it uh, got up to like 96 almost 100 degrees i think in there it was really hot in there <laughs> <Couldn't go laughs> it in was there. unbearable but the the, uh, the lines were still frozen, and we couldn't get the the water still to flow out. Still couldn't blow it out. Couldn't blow it out. Couldn't so, get anything to do anything. No, nothing worked. So as a last ditch effort, I used some automotive antifreeze, which I had planned on just you know putting in the in the drain in the traps. I let the pump draw some of that into the lines to hope that it would sit in the lines a little bit, and uh, maybe defrost the the frozen water in the lines. I know you're not supposed to put that stuff in there. I could hear everybody saying it's poison and all that, and it's toxic, and we know about it, and it stinks, and we'll figure out a way to clean out the lines. But we figured that was later, yeah, a way better solution than dealing with burst pipes. So uh, that that was the lesser of two evils, and we could, you know, maybe we'll <laughs> add sure. a little, uh, little tiny bleach with some water and sanitize. Oh, we'll take thing. care we'll of that. We don't drink that water anyway. No, we've we told don't. you that before. So, uh, long story short, that didn't work. <laughs> Nothing. So, no matter what we did, we couldn't get the pipes blown out. We tried everything we could to defrost it. We even defrosted the tanks and drained them. But we could not get the air compressor to blow through the pipes. So, we've decided to pack it up and take her to warmer climates. We'll winterize her properly and bring her back up in the spring. And we'll never let this go this long again. Columbus Day is cutoff day for the future up here in the Adirondack Park at our homestead. So we ended up just uh, bringing the camper home into a warmer climate here on Long Island and uh, we were able to, uh, like the next day it was like 50 degrees outside and sunny and uh, everything sort of defrosted. I was able to blow out all the lines properly and I Threw a little antifreeze in the, you know, a little so bit in the sink. tub, a little bit in the bowl, oh. a little bit in the sink. And I blew all the other lines out. The hot water heater is empty, so we should be... Septic there. was drained, gray yep. and black water was drained. Everything defrosted and was able to be drained. Hey guys, we're here in the driveway. We're going to winterize it here blow out the lines. Also, I should note that it's raining now and my wife has the car with my raincoat and the umbrellas. So I got this hat. It works. So the first thing we're going to do, I already did it actually, is empty the low point drain. Okay, so we emptied the tank here. I was able to get that drained. Make sure that valve is closed. Have this little compressor here. It should be more than adequate to do the job. I picked up this. I'm not sure exactly where I got up, uh, but this screws in right over here. So our air compressor will connect to that. We're going to blow some air in very low pressure, like maybe five, ten pounds tops. I'm going to go inside the trailer, open up the faucets. drain the hot water tank then I'm going to plug it back up and I'm going to run some air pressure through this hose very lightly I'm going to go inside check the valves on the uh, tank to see what position they're in all right so I closed off the valves that feed the hot water heater the top one and the bottom one and I left the bypass open pump is also closed and I'm going to feed air pressure in and I'm going to blow the air out through the lines okay it's getting colder and nastier by the second here with this weather so we have the air hose hooked up. I have my pressure regulator turned all the way down to nothing. And I'm gonna just gradually 
increase a little bit of pressure through the system. And now we're going to go inside and see if there's any water coming out of the sink, which there should be. You can see water coming out of the bath. All right, some air pressure, and we got air coming out here. We blow some out the shower. These are done. I'm going to close these. All right. So that's done. The next thing we're going to do is I'll spare you all the details, but we're going to come under here and we're going to drain our black water and gray water, and then we'll rinse out the tanks from the inside with a little bit of fresh water. And the last thing I'm going to do is dump a little antifreeze down the drains. Down I know it's the poisonous antifreeze, but we're not drinking it. So there's no need to worry about any of that. I'll let a little bit lay on there. So that's our little uh, trailer story. Lessons learned though. Lesson learned, Columbus Day weekend, if you're up in the Adirondacks, would be the weekend to winterize your trailer. The last weekend, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. We could have had cracked pipes everywhere. Oh, goodness and, gracious. You know, half of those pipes are all hidden, you know, and it's behind the wall and the floor behind the tub. You don't want to go in there. No, and, and at the beginning of the video, um, we showed you a little uh, video clip of there was water down by the hot water tank and the fresh water tank. I think that was probably just condensation from us heating up the inside of the trailer and those being frozen. It might have been. Because there's no cracks. There might, have been a little, a, there might have been a little drip out of fitting the top of the hot water heater. Right. I'm going to look at it again. Yeah, but nothing serious. We won't know until really, we pressurize everything again. Hopefully there's nothing. Hopefully we dodged a big bullet with this whole situation. We really appreciate everybody's support. Our channel's been growing really, yeah, really yeah. awesome. And we are just overwhelmed. Not overwhelmed, yeah, overwhelmed. We're just, we're just so happy. Yeah, it's exciting. We People really start to follow and watch along. And, uh, there's, there's just a lot of things to come in the future. It's coming at a little slow pace at some times, but things are gonna happen. And uh, we're excited about it, and we're happy to take you guys along with us. Really, really appreciate all your support. Thank you so much.